Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boyston Grove, and today we're going to show you how to make some nativity wall art. Let's get into it. This is our last project before Christmas, and I realized we haven't made a nativity yet. Now, nativity wall art is becoming more and more popular these days, so that's what we're going to be making. I have a bunch of cutoffs of some thin pine tongue and groove that I used for another project and that's what I'm going to be using for the background of all the nativities. I started by pre-painting all the pieces. The frames that I'm using for this project are frames that I built myself. I love this design. It's super simple, quick, and easy to build. I usually batch a whole bunch out for future projects. I'm not going to show you how to build them in this video because I have a full tutorial video on how to build these frames. I'll leave a link to that video in the description below if you want to check it out. You don't have to make your own frames. You could visit a couple local secondhand stores and get some cool older looking frames or just buy some new ones. Some glue and brad nails and our frame and background are completed. I created some templates for the nativity pieces and I attached them to some thin scraps of oak that I had laying around. The templates are available on our website. I'll leave a link in the description. I cut all the straighter pieces out on the bandsaw, but moved over to the scroll saw for all the smaller curvy pieces. I used a carving bit in my Dremel to add some detail to the Little Josephs and Marys. I hand sanded all the pieces because they were so small, and I opted to not add a finish to them because I liked the way the wood looked just as it was. Because these cutouts are so lightweight and the nativity will be inside and in storage most of the year, hot glue will be plenty strong enough to hold everything in place. Now if you decide to use hot glue like I did, make sure you're using a glue gun like the Shore Bonder that has a high temp setting. You also want to make sure that you're using high strength hot glue like this Gorilla Glue that I have here. I'll leave a link to both the glue and the glue gun in the description below. I added a hanger on the back and our project is complete. Oh, 
All right, our nativity wall art is finished, and I know I say this a lot, but this truly was a quick and easy project. Like I said before, you don't have to make your own frames. You could buy some new ones or go to some secondhand stores and buy some cool old ones. There's lots of options there. And the same thing goes for the background. As much as I like the look of the tongue and groove, you don't have to use that. You could use a piece of quarter inch plywood or half inch plywood or whatever you have available in your shop. Now I didn't add any finish to my cutouts because I like the worn look of this old oak, but you could try to mix it up a little bit, do something different, maybe try to stain the barn piece a little bit darker. There's a bunch of different options there. Another idea I had after the fact is if you got a wider frame, you could actually add some stuff on the side, like maybe some palm trees, some critters, other characters like the three wise men. There's just so many things that you could do with this. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other ideas on how we can expand on this project. Thank you very much for watching and have a very Merry Christmas. God bless us, everyone.